In this video, we're going to look at enlargements where the scale factor is negative. If you haven't already done so, I'd recommend you first check out my previous video on enlargements. I'll put a link to that video in this video's description. In the previous video when we looked at enlargements, we took a shape and a centre of enlargement. To enlarge the shape, we considered the journey from the centre of enlargement to a point on the shape. If we were going to enlarge this shape scale factor 2, we'd repeat that journey a second time. We then do exactly the same thing with all of the other points on the shape, and we end up with a final enlarged shape scale factor 2. If we wanted to do scale factor 3, we do the journey not once, not twice, but a third time, and we end up with a shape like this. So the shape on the right is a scale factor 3 enlargement, the one in the middle is scale factor 2, and you could even consider the actual original shape as a scale factor 1 enlargement, since it doesn't change size. But what if the scale factor was negative? Well, we still consider the original journey from the centre of enlargement to a point on the shape. But then we do that journey in the opposite direction, we go beyond the centre of enlargement. So if we were to do scale factor negative 1, we would do that journey, but the opposite way. And the shape would end up here. If it was scale factor negative 2, we'd do that a second time, and it would go here. And for scale factor negative 3, a third time, and it would end up here. Notice how when we have a negative scale factor, the shape is flipped upside down. Now let's have a look at some examples of enlarging shapes with a negative scale factor. So we could be given a shape A like this, and the question might read, enlarge shape A with a scale factor negative 2 from the centre of enlargement 0, 0. So just like with a normal enlargement, we're going to mark on the centre first, which is at 0, 0, so I'll put a cross here. Then just like with a normal enlargement, I'm going to pick a point on the shape, so I'm going to go for the bottom left corner here, and then we consider the journey from the centre of enlargement to that point. So to get from the red cross to the green cross, I go 1, 2 to the right, and 1, 2 up. Now if this were a positive 2 scale factor enlargement, I'd do that journey again. But it's not, it's negative 2. So I need to do the opposite of that journey. Rather than going 2 to the right, and then 2 up, I need to go back to the centre of enlargement, and go 2 to the left, and 2 down. So I go 1, 2 to the left, and 1, 2 down. Now this would be for scale factor negative 1. So I need to repeat that a second time to get negative 2. So 1, 2 to the left, 1, 2 down. So the green cross would map to here. Let's pick a second point, so let's do the bottom right corner, this blue cross. So I start back at the centre of enlargement and work out the journey from the red cross to the blue cross. So 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right, and 1, 2 up. Now I go back to the centre of enlargement, but do the opposite of that journey. So instead of 4 right and 2 up, 4 left and 2 down. So 1, 2, 3, 4 left, 1, 2 down. But that's for scale factor negative 1, I want negative 2, so I do that again. 1, 2, 3, 4 left, 1, 2 down. So the blue cross would map to here. Let's do the final cross at the top of the triangle. So for this one, from the centre to the orange cross, 1, 2, 3 right, 1, 2, 3, 4 up. Then I go back to the centre of enlargement and do the opposite of this journey. So instead of 3 right, 4 up, 3 left, 4 down. So 1, 2, 3 left, 1, 2, 3, 4 down. And that scale factor negative 1, I want negative 2, so I'll do that once more. 1, 2, 3 left. 1, 2, 3, 4 down. So the orange cross goes here. I can now connect up those points to form the enlarged shape. Notice how the shape is still two times as large, but it's flipped upside down. We can check the shape is in the correct place by drawing a straight line between matching coloured crosses through the centre of enlargement. If it is in the correct place, this will form a perfect straight line. So if we connect together the orange crosses through the centre of enlargement, you can see that is a straight line. We do the same for the green, and for the blue, they all form straight lines. If it doesn't form a straight line, then your shape is in the wrong place. Now let's try a second example. So in this one we have another shape, and we're going to enlarge this one with scale factor negative 3 this time, from the centre negative 2, 4. So let's start by marking on the centre of enlargement, negative 2, 4, that goes here. Now we'll pick a point on the shape, I'm going to start with this one here, and we want to consider the journey from the centre to that point. So to get from the centre to that point, I go 1 left, and then 2 up. So I need to repeat this journey in the opposite direction from the centre of enlargement 3 more times, since it's scale factor negative 3. So the reverse journey of 1 left, 2 up, is 1 right and 2 down. So we'll go 1 right and 2 down, that will be scale factor negative 1. So I do it again, 1 right and 2 down, that's scale factor negative 2. And one more time, 1 right and 2 down, that's scale factor negative 3. So the green cross will go here. 
Let's pick a second point, so this one here. The journey from the center to the blue cross is one, two, three to the left, and one, two up. So the reverse journey there is three right and two down. So I go one, two, three to the right, one, two down. That scale factor negative one. One, two, three to the right, one, two down. That scale factor negative two. And one, two, three to the right, one, two down. That scale factor negative three. So the blue cross goes here. Let's do this point here. So from the center to that point is one to the left and three up. And I need to do that in reverse. So one to the right and three down. So one right, three down. That scale factor negative one. One right, three down. That scale factor negative two. One right, three down. That scale factor negative three. So the orange cross goes here. And onto the final point, we've got a pink cross. So to get from the center to this cross, I go one, two, three to the left. One, two, three, four up. So I need to reverse that three to the right and four down. And I'll do that three times. So one, two, three to the right, one, two, three, four down. One, two, three to the right, one, two, three, four down. And one more time, one, two, three to the right, one, two, three, four down. So the pink cross goes here. We can now connect up those crosses to form the final shape. Once again, I'm going to connect up the matching colored crosses through the center of enlargement to check the shapes in the right place. So if I do the pink crosses, that's looking good. Orange and green and blue. And you can see I've done this enlargement correctly. Let's try a third example. So for this shape, we're going to enlarge the shape with scale factor negative one from the center, zero, negative four. So let's mark on the center of enlargement first. That's at zero, negative four. And we're going to do the enlargement with scale factor negative one, which might seem at first an unusual choice of a scale factor. When we did positive scale factor enlargements, we never enlarged the shape with scale factor one because it just gives you the same shape. But you may get asked to do one with scale factor negative one. So let's start with this point here, and we want the journey from the center of enlargement to this point. So we go one, two to the left. So we just need to reverse this in the opposite direction, which would be two to the right. And we're only doing it one time since it's scale factor negative one. So it's just one, two to the right, and it goes here. Now let's try second point. Let's do this one in blue. So from the center to the blue cross is one, two, three, four to the left, and one down. So we need to do four to the right and one up. So we go one, two, three, four to the right, and one up. And remember, we're only doing this one time since it's scale factor negative one. Now let's try this point. So from the center to that point, one, two, three, four to the left, and two down. So we need to go four to the right and two up. So one, two, three, four to the right, one, two up, and it goes here. Onto this point. So from the center to the pink cross is one, two, three, four, five, six to the left and one, two down. So we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six to the right and two up. Onto this one here, from the center to the black cross is one, two, three, four, five, six to the left and one up. So we're going to go six to the right and one down. One, two, three, four, five, six to the right and one down. There's only one more cross to do this one here. It's one, two, three, four to the left and one up. So we're going to go one, two, three, four to the right and one down. And it goes here. If we join all of those up, we'll make the completed final shape. Notice how this shape hasn't actually changed size. That's because the scale factor was negative one. When we did regular enlargement, sometimes the scale factor was a fraction. So let's have a look at one of these, but where it's also negative. So for this question, we need to enlarge the shape with scale factor negative one half from the center one one. So let's start by marking on the center one one, and we'll pick a point on the shape and work out its journey. So the journey from the center of enlargement to this green cross is one, two, three, four, five, six to the left. Now we know that when it's a negative scale factor enlargement, we're going to start back at the center and go the opposite direction. So we're going to go to the right and not to the left. But since it's scale factor negative one half, we're going to do one half of the journey. So the journey here was six to the left. So we're going to go right, but half of six, which is three. So we need to go one, two, three to the right. So the green cross would go here. Let's pick a second point, this one up here. So the journey from the center to that cross is one, two to the left, and then one, two, three, four, five, six up. So we're going to do half of that journey in reverse. So instead of two left, we're going to go half of two, which is one to the right. And then instead of six up, 
we're going to go half of 6, which is 3, but down. So we need to go 1 right and 3 down. So 1 right and 1, 2, 3 down. So this one goes here. And for the final one, to get from the center to the orange cross, we need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to the left, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up. So we're going to do half of that. So half of 8 is 4, so 4 to the right, and half of 6 is 3, so 3 down. So 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right, 1, 2, 3 down. So the orange cross goes here. And if we join those points together, we form the triangle. You can see this one has been flipped upside down because it's a negative scale factor enlargement, but it's also half of the size since the scale factor was negative one half. Now just like when we did regular enlargements, sometimes you have to describe an enlargement as well. Let's have a look at some of these examples. So in this one here, the question would say, describe fully the single transformation that maps shape A to shape B. Now since this video is about enlargements, we know the transformation must be an enlargement, but you do need to write this down to score a mark. So we'd say it's an enlargement. Then we need to give the scale factor. To work out the scale factor, we need to look at some corresponding lengths. And you do need to be careful here and remember that the shape has been flipped upside down. So if I look at the height here of this line, that's two squares, I need to look at the height on the other side since it's been flipped upside down, which is this one, which is six squares. So if we think about going from A to B, this length has gone from two to six, which means it must have been multiplied by three. So we can think of the scale factor as being three, apart from this shape has been flipped upside down. So it must be negative three. And finally, we also need to give the center of enlargement. We do this in the same way we did with the regular enlargements. We're going to connect together corresponding points on the shapes with straight lines and then find where they cross. But you do need to be careful with this. Remember, because the shape has been flipped upside down, some of the points may not be as obvious. For instance, some people might want to connect together these points here and these points here. But those are not corresponding points because the shape has been flipped. In fact, this point connects to this point, and this one here connects to this one here. And you can see these lines now cross. So where these lines cross, we found the center of enlargement. That's at negative 2, negative 2. So we write that down as a coordinate. Let's try a few more examples of these. So for this one, we're obviously going to start by writing that it's an enlargement. Then for the scale factor, we're going to pick some corresponding lengths. So I'm going to do this one here, which is two squares. And then on shape B, that would correspond to this one here, which is four squares. So the shape has got twice as big going from A to B, but it's also been flipped upside down. So the scale factor must be negative two. And then for the center of enlargement, we need to connect together some corresponding points. So I'm going to go for these two here and these two here. And they cross at the point negative three, one. So the center of enlargement is negative three, one. Let's try another example. So for this one, we're going to start by saying it's an enlargement. To find the scale factor, we're going to look at some corresponding lengths. So for shape A, I'm going to do this one here, which is 10 squares. And for shape B, that will correspond to this one here, which is five squares. Now this time we're going from shape A to shape B, so the shape has actually got smaller. In fact, it's half the size, since 10 divided by two is five. The shape has also flipped though, so we know it's a negative scale factor. So this one is negative one half. Then we need to find the center of enlargement. So let's connect together some corresponding points. Let's do these ones and these ones, and you can see the center is at three, three. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next. Subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And why not go and try the exam questions in this video's description.